Today we're going to make stage balls. These are travel friendly and actually stretch your sage out more. You use dried sage to make these balls. You can hear the crunching of it. That's about how dry you want it. You pull the leaves off the stems. And sage balls could be any size, large, small, depending on how how many you want to make, if you want to stretch your sage out, if you don't have much sage. This um, is a good way to conserve it and use it as needed. So you put it in a little pile and then you squeeze it. You squeeze hard to get the initial ball going. This is a really good uh, activity for kids. Kids like doing this. So once you have the semi-ball you start rubbing it between your hands in a circular motion over and over and that compacts it together even more. When we harvest sage, after it dries, we uh, make enough balls to fill two gallon sized jars and the kids make the balls and put it in. It takes, um, it's a nice evening or a sit in the shade activity for them to do when you visit and tell little stories and stuff. It also makes them feel that they contributed to the winter supply of sage. As you use it, you pull it out and take a ball out and burn it and smudge with it. They know they were a part of that and it just, it's a really nice cultural pride that you see them have. If you don't have access to picking sage, um, you can buy it and do the same thing. After you buy it, take it off, make your balls, and just store them somewhere where they won't get damp because if you cover it, then they'll, they'll mold. You don't want that. And usually we take a ball out in the morning and burn it. The kids smudge. We can smudge the house with it. Or before we go to bed, and it's just, it gives you a really good sense of peace. Huh, Dr. Wash day.